My name is Bob the Drag Queen. And I'm Money Exchange. And, and this, this is Sibling, Sibling Rivalry. Rivalry. This week, we continue our series by Girl Bye by interviewing Calorie Kardashian Williams and Yuha Hamasaki. Monet and Yuha fight over the internet. And we find out what made Yuha say this. I responded back to you an hour later because I was at a viewing party, you idiot. Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Bob the Drag Queen of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 8. But more importantly, it is I, Bob the Drag Queen of the podcast Sibling Rivalry. Um, as you guys know, me and Monet have been doing a uh, a series called Bye Girl Bye. And we did an interview with Cal- with um, Vanessa Vanjie. Mateo, which is hilarious. If you've not, if you've not heard it, please go back. It's an episode two. Uh, and today we have a two in one. We have Calorie Kardashian and Yuha Hamasaki both uh, in separate interviews here on the podcast today. Also, I want you guys to know. So we had, <laughs> we have been, we have been listening to your, um, reading your comments, which we appreciate. Please, if you get an opportunity, please go online. Uh, subscribe to us. You can subscribe to us on iTunes or you can listen on SoundCloud or pretty much anywhere where podcasts are available. You can find our podcast. Um, and we'd really appreciate a five star and a review. Um, and we are addressing our technical issues. We are, we're pretty new at this and we're doing it ourselves. I actually edit, I actually edit the, the podcast like in the dressing room uh, at the Berkeley Repertory Theater. Uh, this is, Part of my, you know, my my pet project and is really uh, keeping my mind nimble. Um, so with that in mind, we did have a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, we had a little bit of a uh, sound snafu with Calories interview, um, but it's audible. You'll be able to hear it. It just might be a little bit annoying. However, uh, it's a pretty good interview. And of course, please stick around for the Yuha and Mo- interview where Monet joins us, and it is stunts, shows, and shenanigans because those two are just so ridiculous. So, without further ado, let's get into the podcast. Please welcome to our podcast, season ten contested, Miss Calorie Kardashian Williams. There's that's full, isn't it? It is. That's that's a lot of calories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait. How did so Calorie Kardashian that 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 name I can hear, but how did Williams come in? Are you part of a, a Williams family? Yeah. So um, so my house mother, her last name is Williams, and then whenever um, I like was doing dragon, like because you know I, I had went through another I had another name and I changed it, and um, she told me the only thing that you can't do is get rid of the Williams, and so then. Kim Kardashian had gotten married, and so she was Kim Kardashian West, and I was like, oh, it's perfect. It, it's perfect. <laughs> it's, it's fake. Perfect. It's kismet. And what was your original drag name? I would rather not speak. Is it, is it that bad? I was just very woman at that time. Are you um, Amber? It, <laughs> no, it, it was Naraya, but like Mariah, but with an N. Will work. I was because you know the internet will find it. If you don't post oh, this, oh, the internet will oh, hear this in here. And they have. They're like, so I okay, so. Be Naraya, and I'm like, please don't speak of that name. Please don't speak of that name. Well, my original drag name used to be um, Kitten with a Whip. <laughs> yes, Miss Thing. Oh my god! I was Kitten so with a Whip for for four, three or four years, and I was like, fuck that noise! I'm becoming Bob the Drag Queen. Yeah, so much better. So much better. Now you make you make quite the big splash on RuPaul's Drag Race, and also that legendary moment where you took those dollars out of your titties. It made it rain on yourself while doing the Cooter Slams. I, ha- I had to make RuPaul eat his words. He was like, you didn't make it rain. And I was like, and I, w- and I was sitting there and I was like, oh, just you wait. Just you wait, RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a whole bunch of dollars left over. That's, that was pretty fucking fierce. Yeah. And also, well, see, you, funny, go ahead. Because I had actually had taken those because I was afraid that they were going to start falling off. Because backstage, like walking from set to set, they were just coming off. So I was oh, like, yeah. well, maybe some like just with me just in case I can I can staple them on really fast and whatever and then when I realized I was in the bottom I was like okay nope this is just going to be used for a prop like this is my gimmick well what the fans don't realize is okay so first of all when you oh you guys are filming on a different set than we filmed on we filmed in Hollywood yeah y'all are out in like the woods honey the woods bitch the woods there was deer I think I had seen like four or five deer (laughs) 
<laughs> so you, you have to walk. Well, we the back, back when I was on RuPaul's Drag Race, you had to walk from the workroom, and then you would walk all. You'd walk outside across like maybe ten feet to another door. And also back when I was in Drag Race, there was um they could the building we were in was so old that we could not run both air conditioners at the same time. So while you were painting, all of a sudden in the room you're in, it would just get hot. Like, oh, but like no. so hot you could hardly do your makeup. And that was how we knew RuPaul was on the set. Because when RuPaul <laughs> showed up, her air conditioner was on and we were all her- in the fucking heat, girl. <laughs> She's like, don't worry about those girls. It's me. It's Mama Ru. I mean, if, if Mama Ru wants her air conditioner, Mama Ru gets her fucking air conditioner. You know, yeah, uh, maybe I when I win my two, when I get my two Grammys, then I'll shut down some bitch's <laughs> air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> But as of right now, I am subject to Mama Rue and all of her uh, fabulousness. Who, did, you, did, you, did you get really close to anyone on Drag Race? Um, yeah, I actually got really close to um, Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Um, and then Eureka, too. I got really close with them. Now, Vanjie has become the meme queen of season 10. I, I'd even probably call her, like, the Valentina of the season. I mean, it's crazy. Like, she, has a, she had a really big impact on uh, in one episode, I mean, people are screaming Miss Vanji from Everybody. here all around the world. Okay, first of all, I know this when you are because I've had to lip sync for my life. Lip syncing for your life is scary. It's not it's like when you're in the scary. bar. When you're in the bar, and folks are like, "Time to lip sync for your life." And people think it's funny, but when you're there, it's not fucking funny. It's not at all. Yeah, you it feel like your heart drop out. And literally, I felt my heart fall out of my butt. Like, yeah, that's how it, it feels. Felt- yeah, it literally just falls right out. Like, and especially hearing those words, like, like watching it on TV, you're like, oh my god, this is so crazy. But like, hearing it in person, you're like, fuck my life. How did I get here? Like, damn it. And the thing is, when she says lip sync for your life, you really feel like your life depends on it. Literally, it really does. Your life, your career, everything depends on that moment. Are you the first queen from New Mexico? Yeah, I was the first queen for, um, to ever be picked. Works. So how is it being yes. the, the, the legendary New Mexico goddess? Yeah, well, so far. They're, they're granted, some of the queens in New Mexico are too fond with me right now, but it's okay. Well, why are they, ma- why are they mad at you? Because uh, my little comment about what drag... <laughs> some, some people in my hood got a little offended. So when you, when you said there's no drag in New Mexico? Yeah, and it was just a joke, but... Other than that, though, but other for the most part, though, everyone else has been really, really super humble. Um, it's been very humbling, like the support and love that I've been getting, um, and especially just because New Mexico is such a small state in a sense, like for everything. When it, like I mean, people people don't even think we're part of the country half the time, and so um, it was it was pretty cool to like put us on the map finally. Okay, who are the queens you're rooting for who are left in the race right now? Um, mine would probably I would I would say I'm like the O'Hara's. One, because I'm, I'm ready for a big girl to finally win. And so I want Eureka mm-hmm. to win because she's a big girl. And then um, also Asia because I have been, she's been one of like my idols for so long. Because like, in New Mexico, like, the closest like, huge drag scene that we have is Texas. And so, of course, like, you know, seeing all these like, Texas queens, I ended up falling in love with Asia. And when I, when I literally walked into the work, I'm surprised I didn't show it, but I lost my shit. Like, I was screaming. The... the, the, the um, the directors had to, or um, the cat filming had to be like, hold on, hold on, you have to come back, you have to come back. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, I just saw Asian, <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> yeah. And did you have any, were you intimidated by any of the girls? Like, were any of the girls that you were like, this is my competition? Like, this is like a girl that is scary. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. Were, any, were there any of that? Um, Cameron. When I hit saw Cameron, I'm like, damn, she's fucking beautiful. Like, fuck. I thought I was going to be the, the pretty one. Like, damn it. Um, and then Mayhem for sure when I had saw Mayhem I was like oh yeah that's it well because Mayhem is like every every RuPaul Drag Race girl's best friend yeah literally she knows everybody and I'm like she's she's gonna know how to work this competition for sure yeah I could could definitely see that intimidating now I have some games I wanna play with you okay okay yeah totally now what's gonna happen is uh, we're gonna call this the calorie countdown (laughs) I'm gonna name I'm going to name two foods, and you have to oh. tell me which one has more calories in it, okay? Oh, perfect. All right. All right. We're going to start with carrots versus celery. Which one has more calories, carrots or celery? Carrots. All right. You're right. Carrots have 25 calories. Celery has six calories. When's the last time you ate a carrot? No comment. 
<laughs> I'm a, okay, which I'm, one has? I am not a salad eating chick. Okay, I eat steak and potatoes. <laughs> which one has more calories, a DiGiorno pizza or a chocolate cake? A full DiGiorno pizza, pepperoni, or like, a full like, chocolate cake? Like a full medium pizza, and you're going to eat it all by yourself? Yeah, full DiGiorno's, not delivery. It's DiGiorno pepperoni pizza. Um, or a piece of cake. Um, a, a ten inch cake, chocolate cake. Ooh. Ten mm. inches of chocolate. Which one? Has more? I'm gonna go with probably the DiGiorno pizza. Okay, which well, let's just say which one do you prefer, cake or pizza? Oh, honey, cake. Duh, cake, 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 cake. Oh, okay, that's right. You're the, you're the cake queen. Uh, a cupcake from Magnolia Bakery, a vanilla cupcake from Magnolia Bakery, or a blueberry donut from Dunkin' Donuts. I'm gonna go with the cupcake just because I love cupcakes. Mm-hmm. It's a blueberry donut. A blueberry what? Uh, donut. No. Yeah. How, how is that possible? How? 460 calories in a blueberry from Dunkin' I think, Donuts. I think you made that. Up. I, want to, I want to see the receipts. I want to see the receipts. I, I Googled it. Google says that blueberry muffins from Dunkin' Donuts have apparently 460 calories. All right. So here's the card. And we're going to play a game called the Kardashian. You did, by the way, you did not do very well. You failed the calorie quiz. I would think it was just Cal- going calories. to my favorite foods instead of the most calories. <laughs> now, you are an um, unofficial Kardashian. Yes. Unofficial. Now, until, this, until they meet me. Does this, make you, does this make you sisters with Trinity K. Bonet, who is apparently Trinity Kardashian Bonet? Who's that? No, I'm just kidding. I'm so just kidding. Wow. So just kidding, Trinity. In case you're hearing, it was a joke. It was just a joke. I call Shane. Uh, oh, no, we're, no, we're not. She's too skinny. She, we're not related. Look, no, no skinny bitch in your career. All right, yeah, here we go. No, no skinny. Thick thighs make the dick brags. Okay, do you, know how, do you know how tall Kim Kardashian is? I'll oh give God. you some options. She is five um, feet. She is five three. She is five six. Or she is five eight. I would say she's five six. Mm. No, she is five foot three. She is tiny. What? She is one inch taller than uh, Christina Aguilera. What? No way. Yes, true. Kim true. Kardashian. Right. Yeah, she's five three. She's tiny, girl. But also, Kanye West is not that tall either. So that that shows that thing. All right. Well, the TV the TV must add like five inches because I could have swore she was taller. Well, maybe the whole the, the whole family except Caitlyn. Caitlyn's the only tall motherfucker in that family. She's a she's like <laughs> eight feet tall. <laughs> She's also her, her, a, a decathlon athlete. Okay, so our Kardashian is Armenian. The, all the, the Kardashian is, is an Armenian word, and it means either, ready? Does it mean stone carver, bricklayer, quilter, or thirst trapper? Oh, God. Um. Um. These are hard questions. Why couldn't you ask me about like when she got when was her fastest marriage? Um, no, I'd probably oh. say brick carver. No, it's a stone carver. You're half right. It's stone carver. Wait, what was oh, her okay. fastest? <laughs> wait, wait, how many times has she been married? How many times has she been married? Yeah, has Kim Kardashian been married? Um, she's been married three times, and I think the fastest one was with that basketball player or the baseball player or whatever his name is. I don't. And how long have they been married? I don't watch 72 hours or 73 hours. Wait, Wait, you don't watch the Kardashians? Oh, no, I do. I watch them every Sunday on E. But I literally have the worst memory of my in the entire world. I only have two more. This one will be easy. Okay. Can you name the Kardashians in age from youngest to oldest? Um, yes. Youngest would be... Oh, wait, are we considering the Jenners? Like Kylie? Wait, we're, in, we're including the Jenners. Okay, so it's going to be Kylie, Kendall, um, shit, was it Robert? Yeah, Robert, and then Chloe, Kim, and Courtney. That's it. That's exactly yes! it. Yes! Winner, winner! I don't know if you call him Robert by his formal name, Robert Kardashian. And this is your last one. Um, the, the very first line of the pilot episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians oh my God. was uttered by Kim Kardashian. Was it, I love my family? Was it, where's my dress? Was it, I hate you all? Or was it Team Shangela? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with, I love my family. She said, I hate you all. Oh, that was literally. That was like, that was like 10 seasons ago. 
<laughs> Wait, how old were you 10 years ago? I um, 17. Work. No, 18. Work. I was 18. I was 18. And the last thing I'll tell you, we, this is not a quiz, but this is a random bit of information we, that, we, that we've done some research on here. Um, if, you, if you were to eat one entire Kim Kardashian, she is about 84,000 calories. Oh my God. It's probably all, it's that, probably all in fast too. And that is not including any bones or any organs. Remove the skin. Skinless, boneless, organless, organic. Well, she's probably not organic. But something tells me Kim Kardashian she's is not organic. All. She's not organic. But that is eighty-four thousand calories. All right, Calorie, thank you so much for letting us interview you on uh, interview you on uh, Southern Rivalry. Where can the kids find you? What's your Instagram? Um, they can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Cal Kardashian W. Um, and yeah, and then they can follow me and press that follow button. Do you have any shows? And uh, do you have any regular shows in New Mexico that you go that you do? So normally I'm, I'm, I'm part of a, of a cast at FX Nightclub. We do Fierce Fridays. It's usually three Fridays out of the month. And um, so they can usually find me there downtown. Right, so please check her out at, at Cal Kardashian W on Instagram and Twitter. And Fierce Fridays at, X, at FX Nightclub yes. in, in Albuquerque? Albuquerque? In Albuquerque, New Mexico, yes. In Albuquerque, New Mexico. That is Calorie Kardashian Williams, Dupree, Jenkins, Balenciaga. The Nina house Bobina Bobina Brown. <laughs> 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 All right, thank you, Gallery. All righty, babe. Thank you, guys. You guys have a good day. We'll talk to you soon. All right, now I have to tell you guys that um, I did the Calorie interview without Monet. She was very upset with me, <laughs> but I was trying to, I don't know, get it done on time, whatever. So I have learned, Monet, I apologize. We will not be doing anywhere interviews without you. Um, and this one is with Monet, and we are interviewing our New York City sister, Miss Yuha Hamasaki. All right, we are officially uh, underway. We are here with a uh, RuPaul's Drag Race season <laughs> ten contestant, Yuha Hamasaki, aka if you can't pronounce that, her name is James. Hi, Bob. How are you? Oh, you are oh, bitches. Two of us here, you nasty cunt. Hi, <laughs> Kevin. You all has been so shady to me ever since the episode. She, I texted her. She won't return my text. Bitch, I responded back to you, bitch. Like three days later, girl. No, I responded back to you an hour later because I was at a viewing party, you idiot. Oh, my. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Okay, let's get to the bottom of the Yuha and uh, Monet drama because Monet did not pick Yuha for her team and said that she got stuck with Yuha. And then, of course, Yuha, and then Monet said that Yuha was not a designer. And then Yuha slayed the sponge dress on Instagram <laughs> and then sold it for charity. Yes, Lies, girl, $260 girl. I don't, I don't to, to see an receipts. STD. To an STD health clinic, Kaylin Lord, honey. Your hey, dress- first of all, it's not Kaylin, it's Callan, and I want to see receipts because I don't fucking believe you. But it's <laughs> right here, girl. It's right here, girl. It's about to be shipped out to Australia. Oh, someone bought it in yeah. Australia? Yes, girl. Are you paying are you paying the shipping costs? They're paying for it. Work. That's fierce. You have to yes. admit, Monet, that that little sponge dress you have made was amazing. Oh, listen, I'm not denying it was amazing. I'm just saying a sponge dress is easier when you have four days to do it. I had one, so. No, bitch, I had two days, girl. No, and no, bitch, you had two days. No, we had one also, day, girl. You had two days to make that dress. It was one day. It was a night. Two a days. Night. Two days I was there, bitch. Also, I don't think we can say that. We, it was... <laughs> well, you said it first, <laughs> girl, so. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Also, because Yuha is, is like four feet tall, Yuha used three sponges. Exactly. No, bitch. Monet, I used a, I used one hundred and seventy five dollars worth of sponges. No, you did Monet's not. Monet's big ass yes, body. Yes, I did. Monet's big ass body used uh, the whole. She cleaned out Costco out of sponges. <laughs> All right. So one of the questions that we ask each girl when we interview them, a Yuha, is a very controversial yes. question. And the question is: Was Monet's sponge dress ugly, or was it high concept couture? I think. Originally, she had the idea that it was going to be hot couture and high couture, and I can see that happening. But the way that it was executed, it was just, I think it, there was not enough time, like she said. You know, it wasn't on her part. I think it was just that the t there was a time uh, restraint on it. 
Yeah. So, but it ended up looking like a mess, you know. <laughs> oh, so, oh. And bitch, and bitch, I helped you. I told you what to do when you couldn't fill up those sponges, and you forgot, and you didn't even mention that that I helped you. What? What? What did you help me do? You said, "What? Oh, I don't have enough time to cover the up of the bottom." And I said, "Oh, girl, it's fine. Just um, just disperse the the sponges and make it look like it's part of the look." They they also did a show that Yuha was working on another piece um, um a ping pong dress a ping I pong admit. dress which was gonna be so cut but they didn't show that. Well, we should also talk about the fact that um this is no shade but uh you I mean Yuha you did, you never mentioned that Yuha made the outfit that you wore for the best drag challenge. Yeah, I mean I yeah she doesn't like to she doesn't like to share who uh, who I, her I, artists I, are I, 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 or credits media. people. Girl, on my social media, I said, yeah, but, like, the, but the judges didn't know, so because I didn't get critiqued, you were you were in the bottom, so you got critiqued. I didn't, honey. Did you mention it in the interviews? In the interviews, I probably did. They didn't show it. Uh huh. I'm gonna ask them. I'm gonna send them an email. Now, you, <laughs> you is the stylist to a lot of uh, drag race queens. She's made outfits for me, uh, Alexis Michelle. Uh, outfits Aja, for uh, peppermint, jiggly. Yeah, you, you know him better than I do, girl. Keep naming him, honey. Keep naming him. RuPaul no. in my own mind. <laughs> you know, listen, I never said Yuha was not a fair stylist. I just said Yuha is not necessarily a designer. Because because Yuha, let's, let's be real. Let's keep it real. Anytime I have gone to you for an outfit, it is I design it and I just ask you to make it. It's not like you, you've never designed for me. So that's what I was saying. Oh, you, you didn't say that. But, well, but, but, but I have made stuff for you that I had came up with the concepts with before. Like two what? Or three like what? Two or three, the, the blue outfit. The blue outfit. The blue cat suit? No, the blue outfit. The leotard one. A uh, blue leotard? Oh, and the with, white one and the white reveal coat. That was part of my concept, too. If I know no. U-Haul like I think I know U-Haul, she will be posting pictures, receipts. Uh, Girl, with- <laughs> I posted receipts of her, of her feather dress where I lent her the stones. What stone? You're not letting me, you're not, did you give me Yes, stone? I did, bitch. <laughs> you, are, you are so fucking out of your mind, goddamn mind. And then next is going to be Aquaria when I let her the stones for her feathers runway, too. <laughs> She's next. She's my next victim. I will say you this. Ha- Yuha was a very fierce competitor, and um, Yuha daily had me cackling because people. I don't think I don't think America or the viewers or the listeners understand. Yuha is a legitimate crazy person. She is cuckoo kachu. Yuha will for one minute. Yuha will be asleep on the couches, literally asleep, and then the next minute we have ten minutes to go on the runway. Yuha is up in full geesh, full paint, everything ready to go before. Like you are a you are you're just a crazy person. Oh, well, you, 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 you finally have something nice to say about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, Yuha is, uh, okay, first of all, I have known Yuha since she was probably 19 years old, sneaking into the clubs. I remember I, I did drag with Yuha for like two years. And then one day Yuha was like, oh, will you come to my 21st birthday party at the web? <laughs> I got the I web. Did. I forgot that I worked at the web. I came and performed for free for Yuha at the web at her 21st birthday party. Me, Frosty Flakes, Jiggly Caliente, and a couple other girls who and don't Prada even do drag anymore. Major, uh, Prada Nikki Major Fierce, was there. And oh, Prada's Nikki mother. Fierce. Apparently, Nikki Fierce is like some like like God warrior nowadays. Like, what? Super religious. Yeah, so she Prada? like quit doing... She, no, Nikki Fierce like quit doing drag. Oh, yes. And then she's yes, like yes, religious. Yes, 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 yes. So, I like, saw her, actually. I saw her on the street um, uh, not so long ago. She's back in New York. Did she? Did she pray for you? Um, no, no. She's she has she has a boyfriend now. <laughs> oh, work! She's back to the gayness. Good for her. I think so. Her. Just not doing the drag. Gayness. Da, 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 the gayness. Oh, but it was a gag to me because I was like, oh my god, I have known you how all this time. It, she was like nineteen, just like Aja. Aja used to sneak into the Ritz with her crunchy ass. Okay, I remember, uh, remember Aja sneaking into the Ritz, and it was it, it was Aja, Momo, Shane, and B Ames. <laughs> Yeah, I remember and, and, me- I remember meeting them at uh, Bartini in Hell's Kitchen. Oh, I remember that. That was like what six years ago. Yeah, I remember Miss Aja. Honey. Seven years ago, even. That's back when. Remember that, that? That's back when Aja was so set on this injection thing, and her name was Aja Injection, and she'd always <laughs> wear um, syringes on her fingers. <laughs> Her name was also Aja Von Trap for a while. She had a lot of weird names. No. Yes, I'm I, I, I used to make I used to make fun of her, and it said, um, uh, "So Aja, what?" Uh, Aja outside or Aja inside? I would make fun of her name. Aja inside or Aja outside? I don't. I, don't, I think I don't the day I realized that Yuha was crazy 
was the day that I was at Yuha's apartment for a fitting. This was like maybe like last year. And I, Yuha was like, all right, so put on your padding. And I, I started putting on my padding and I was just in my underwear. And then Yuha just like is when I tell you she's cackling doubled over laughing hysterically and i'm like what's so funny you are she but well, you have seen me in my underwear like so many times she made me a lot of outfits and i'm like you are what is so funny she's like nothing nothing and i'm like you are what is so funny and then you are is dying laughing because we own the same pair of underwear do you remember that time you are <laughs> kind of yes yeah oh yes 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 the great underwear i still have it why was that so and funny you- girl because it was oh, funny because I wear it and then I see her wearing it and it's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's on a different you, dick. <laughs> <laughs> you are is cat culling, like, like doubled over. I'm like, girl, what the fuck is so funny? And I'm probably like, running from therapy to upstairs, going over to industry, whatever. And you are like dying laughing. Um, you are, I have actually never seen you emotional before. So seeing you emotional is really. I know. Same. Girl, like. What they showed up there was nothing to compare to what was, like, what actually happened. I think that was just part bits and pieces of it. What didn't they show was during lunch break, what happened was I was just in the corner brushing my wig. And I, and I was completely fine until I looked over. At, everybody was just, like, kicking, happy, and, you know, about to eat their lunch. And I looked over at Eureka. Eureka looked at me. And she mouthed the words, I love you. And it just, like, I just started, like, burst into tears. Years, because because no because while I was there, nobody else like was worrying about who was in the bottom. Like everybody was just like happy that they're saying that they're moving on to the next week. You know what I mean? And the fact that somebody cared and, and said I loved you to me that just like made me burst into tears. And then I started to just keep brushing my wig, and then Cracker came over and she hugged me and she, she helped me brush my wig. She calmed me down, and that was like stuff that wasn't even seen at all. And then I also came. And, and thank I you, Monet, for helping me through the hard times. Thank you so much. I would say I came over and give you a pep talk. I was like, girl, t- I was like, I was like, this is whole. This is like celebrity skin. Like you have to be like grungy and very like. Ooh. I was grungy. Look what happened. I got sent home. <laughs> okay, just I'm like I listened to you. Me. Just like I did when I listened to you. Put some put some black dots and molds on your face and hair coming out. Look what happened. I got sent home. <laughs> and look what happened. I worked with you. Oh, girl. I got stuck with you. I got sent home again. Well, you were you were just I you, you were getting so mad at us. I don't understand why you were getting so angry with us. You think I was getting mad at you guys? You you were like, I got it, I got it, I heard it, I heard it, I heard. It. I was like, you huh? Yes, you of course, I would be annoyed. I wasn't mad. I was more annoyed the fact that Aquarius. I had, I had, no, not Aquarius, but I have three voices telling me not to do the well, mainly just you and Aquarius not to do. It. Well, actually, you you were starting to do it, and then Aquarius just kind of jumped in and um, kind of egged it on, but I. I mean, wouldn't you be annoyed if somebody keeps telling you the same thing, not to do something, not to do something, not to do something, and I then, guess, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I was trying to, and I, I was trying to be focused while getting ready at yeah. the same time, and then I have voices telling me the same thing, same thing, same thing. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'm not doing no diseases. I know you're trying to set me up to go home. I get it. I'll do it. Fine. Uh, wait. <laughs> I can't with you. I can't. You, you, you had some, you had some really fucking funny moments in the show. So I think one of my favorite moments. I think everyone loves the moment where you uh, walk in and then Cracker goes, "I thought you were Japanese, Hamasaki," and you were like, "You're not a real woman either." For some reason, that just fucking leveled everyone. People cracked up. And did you guys have fun doing the um, the premiere party in New York City? Yes, I we did. did. Yeah. And Monet pushed my uh, arm out of the way in one of the videos. I mean, <laughs> that you guys is saw. such a funny video because you know. You are- <laughs> So you are is being so extra with her big ass headpiece and her big old sleeves. I told her block my outfit. I was like, absolutely not. Get the fuck out. <laughs> and, here. and one of the fans commented and said, "Yeah, Monet. Uh, um, you was trying to show her outfit, and Monet pushed her out of the way so she can show her elbow." <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. That was funny. <laughs> now, you Did you make that? Did you make all your outfits that you wore uh, on the show and afterwards? Most of it. You see, uh, and I think you can relate to this, too, is that you are given a certain amount of time to get ready. So the amount of time that I was given, I was not able to make all of those costumes by myself. It was impossible. So I did outsource uh, some of the looks. Yeah. Well, I, I gotta say, because uh, you are you are the queen of turning on an outfit really fucking fast, and you sew for every fucking body in New York City at Glam Awards. Like three girls would get hit up for all the outfits. Also, not to mention you, your social media game is not a fucking joke. Every these girls thought they were fierce with their little photo shoot with their outfits. You have full on green screen video production. Green screen, of every bitch. Fucking those outfit. were real sets, girl. 
See, I'm sure you were actually I'm in kidding, a dojo. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was actually in the what? Yeah, in in a dojo with your uh with your um <laughs> umbrella, your parasol. Yes, I was, girl. I was, girl. I had a coma. Remember, no, so I was back in China. <laughs> but that shit looks like you. Was that done with uh, Preston Burford? Yeah. Yes. Uh, all of our mutual friend uh, Preston Burford did it. Yes. But somebody else filmed hey. it, but he uh, was the one that edited it and put in all the effects to make it all. Yeah, wow. Preston is lit. The, your videos are your 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 uh, social media is really fucking pumped up. It's amazing, and I'm looking at your touring schedule. You are going to the UK. You're going. You're, you got your shows in New York, shows in California, shows in Washington, Mexico, Mexico. And people, and people, people also realize Rhea, you have does all of her own. Uh, Rhea does all of her own. Um, uh, shipping and stuff. Yuha packages all their shits out and she sends them out. Like Yuha is uh, not a joke. Also, Yuha it loves Yuha loves money and she will not miss out on a fucking red goddamn penny. Well, the thing is, the thing is, I how I view is that if you worked hard for it and you earned it, why am I giving you a percentage if I don't need the help? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's how Yuha I see. Yuha is it. not a game. You have about that motherfucking dollar, honey. Yes, you yes girl. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. And um, Monet, that- I saw... What'd you say? I'm sorry, what did you say? No, no, no you go ahead. I'll ask you after. Go ahead. Um, I saw what you said. May you all rest in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> no, rest in <laughs> okay. but then, But then, but then I was going to make a clap back and say, but Monet, where are you going to be resting? Because I saw your tour schedule. You only have two dates. <laughs> <laughs> That would, be, that would be funny. I just and have, I also and I also have a screenshot of your website when it wasn't updated. It says there are no coming shows at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of stuff. I just don't have time to put it on. But you have a lot of free time to get on your website and do that. I don't. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah, I, so, I have a question. So do you have Do you have any regrets about uh, about the show up until the uh, from the time you got there until you went home? I think I should have been more vocal and said, you know what, fuck you guys, I'm going to do the fucking nose, whether you like it or not. Instead, I was trying to be a team uh, player and said, you know what, I'm going to do it just so that we can all get along. I should have just said, fuck you, bitches, I'm going to do whatever I want, you know? But I don't think it was I agree with you, Ha, on that. I would have been like, I'm, I would have went over there. First, first of all, y'all are telling you, Ha, not to put on a nose. Meanwhile, Aquaria has three fucking noses on her face. But also, like, but I'm it wasn't sorry. about who can have, who has a nose, it's about making herself ugly. I think that if Yuha would have trusted her, her gut in terms of, like, she literally just that, draw. That was, that was my, that was my guts to put on a nose. And you're but the me nose would not have made you any more uglier than what you, because you drew, like, a perfectly beautiful face and you just put dots on, like, you should, like, smudge your makeup or, like, draw one eye on the side of your face. Like, you, like, you just look, like, pretty Yuha. Yuha was doing an app called Butter Nose. <laughs> I, I well that to me is ugly you know what i mean putting on the nose you know i think it would have added more effect to it no i yeah. honestly you ha, i'm with you you should have put the nose on those hoes talked you out of it and look what ended up happening just like uh mayhem mayhem was talking about some i want to be a team player you, rupaul's drag race is not the place to be a team player you are always assume you are being judged individually always that's what i say you hear that monet there is no what I and team. Remember you said that about me? Right back at you, bitch. Right back at you. You have, would, would you go back and do All-Stars? Of course. I mean, who wouldn't? Of course. Yeah, hell, I, would, I, I would even go back and do All-Stars. Um, and who is a queen from a past season that you would, like, not, who is a queen that you would not want to lip sync against in, in the past seasons? Maybe Alyssa no Edwards. <laughs> Yeah, Alyssa Edwards, I, I would be... But also, Alyssa, people say Alyssa Edwards that she was voted the lip-sync assassin, but she's lost most of the lip-sync she did on the show. That is true, actually. That is true. Yeah, but Coco I think that's the, home. She, she, either, she has either tied or lost her lip-sync. I don't think she's won any of them. <laughs> You're right. You have a point. I was actually intrigued when, when, she, when, when Alyssa was giving you guys advice, and I was like... Why are they listening to this bitch? She ain't never won Drag Race. She's been eliminated three times. Of all the people to tell you how to win, I, I don't think she's even won any challenges in the history of her being on the show. So why uh, were y'all referring to? to Alyssa Edwards. Oh, yeah. She did. Yeah, yeah. She did. She did. The one with her and Tatiana had to lip sync. They both won that challenge. Work. She won one challenge. Congrats. In two seasons of Drag Race, she won one challenge. I was like, why is she giving all the advice? But I wasn't there. 
Alpha Listen, she may not. Like, she, but she, 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 everything time you want to do something, she's just like bigger, bigger girl, bigger, bigger. <laughs> you know what? Well, well, we, during that, you know what? During that challenge, um, actually during rehearsal, I thought we were just going over parts. I didn't think we were actually doing it for real in front of her. You know what I mean? I thought we were just going over the lines, what we're gonna do. You know, you know when you go into rehearsal, you're just kind of like, kind of, you know, just. Tell yeah, girl, what you do in rehearsal is what you'll do on stage. That's what my teacher used to tell me. Well, but also, you are, you are always a little bit confused. You are like, so what do we call our app? And they were like, girl, the app has a name on it. I was trying to be helpful. No, it's, I also love, I learned too that you are is a, a, is a fierce, shady queen. You had, you remember years ago when you and I went to watch America's Got Talent together? Yes, I remember. I remember. Yes. So, this is years ago. It was me, Yuha, and this uh, this uh, guy slash queen named Chang, and um, you. I had never hung out with them before, like individually, but I mean, as a group. But Yuha and Chang were so shady the entire time because they kept making fun of all these queens in the city who kept losing all their gigs. Do you remember this this <laughs> day? Yes, and they were laughing. <laughs> But at the same time, I was laughing. praising you. I was praising you. I was saying all oh, these queens lose the gigs, but you're taking over these gigs. But at the same time, I was. Be nice about it. I thought <laughs> so it was you know, it, no. You, you were being nice to me, but I was like, like I remember at one point, maybe I edit her name out. There was a queen named Epiphany Get Paid, and then Chang was like, her name should be Epiphany Get Fired, and then, <laughs> then you and Chang were like doubled over laughing at her expense, and I was like, damn, these bitches are cold as hell. I and that's when you we used to make um, fifty dollars for booking. That was eight years ago. Also, years ago, I, I also invited Yuha to go uh, watch Avenue Q with me off Broadway. Yes, Aww. she loves telling the story. She loves telling the story. Listen tell to me, that. tell while, me. While we were there, the whole time, Yuha kept being like, what's going on? I don't get this. This isn't funny. What, are there, there are puppets? Why are the puppets talking? Why are some of them monsters and some of them are humans? Monet, during the show, like while the show's happening, at full <laughs> volume. And then she left and she was like, I didn't get it. It wasn't funny. <laughs> and, and, and she never texted me again. <laughs> um, you have, before we go, I want to ask you there anything. You, you, you have your song. Um, is it called Ankh Foy? What's the name of the song? Everybody oh, my song? God. I thought, I thought you were supposed to be prepared to interview right, your Bob, guest. Wow. Monet, bitch, you don't know. Shut the fuck up. You know the song. What's the name it's of the song? It is uh, called The Ankh Song. The Ankh Song. Yes. Featuring DJ Mitch Moreno. Yes, um, it is featuring the only thing that was memorable from me being on the show. Onk <laughs> onk. Yes, that was um, the only thing that I had, and I had to run with it. I have a so, question: Why did you yes. Why did you choose the old McDonald theme song? Because it is fun, it is cute, it's stupid, it's silly. It's like me. I, I mean, the song was not to be meant to be serious. You know, I'm not trying to be Beyonce or Rihanna or Lady Gaga. I'm just up there yeah. doing a little silly little act. You know, it's like you know one of those SNL skits that you see. It, yeah. They're not meant to be like new like fierce hot music videos they're just yeah. meant to be silly little skits that's what i was thinking yeah, i think I it's that. clear that you weren't trying to make a club banger um i actually think the video is shot really well and um it is it's very you do you remember when you did uh rice queen rice queen i remember that i want to have a rice queen that was a fucking tragic girl no it was cute <laughs> it was i mean this video is better than rice queens i will say yeah um but anyway, you I, I I've always said you, you'd be good on your RuPaul's Drag Race, and I thought you were pretty fucking funny. Here's my question: I'll ask you, and and don't be uh, intimidated by Monet. Um, who are you rooting for uh, now that you're off RuPaul's Drag Race? Um, based up to episode three, right? Yeah, I mean, not just just in your own mind. Like, who do you like? The, like, the, like. This person could have been on the bottom. This person could have already gone home. Like, who are you, who are you rooting for? It's, it's hard to say. Based on the three episodes that we saw, I would say. Give me uh, a few more yeah. episodes. <laughs> okay, I'll give you some more episodes. We, we will call you. We'll text you back, and we'll get your information on who you uh, want to win RuPaul's Drag Race. Definitely wanna, not uh, Because <laughs> she made a sponge dress. I love y'all's internet rivalry. The Monet versus Yuha internet rivalry is probably my favorite thing. It's better than the Vixen versus Aquaria. Bro. I wish I wish so Yuha was there for that. The Yuha and Monet what? The, oh, the, your, your, your Instagram internet rivalry. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't there for Vixen or Aquaria, actually. I was not there. I was being judged. So when 
when people started asking me, what, what do you think of that? I was like, I don't know. I wasn't there. But, and then they said, well, you went back there after the critiques. I was like, yeah, I did. Went back there, but I was busy trying to focus on my lip sync than yeah, worrying about the fight. Shit. I'm like, like yeah. let them fight. Let them kill each other. Let them slap each other for all I care. I'm there to try to stay. That's right, bitch. What did you think about that episode of Untucked? Um, after seeing it, I do see Vixen's point. Yes. Yeah, maybe in the moment, Vixen just screaming so loud, I was like, "Damn, this bitch is loud as hell and, and mean." But also, you know what? I'm loud and mean too. So I see, I, I, I really identify with the Vixen. You finally admit that you're fucking but, mean. Good to, but good I to think know. the way when you say things, when you say things, you say it with a smile. Does that make sense? Even when you're screaming, you're like smiling at the same time. Well, I, I don't know if you realize really, that. I'm never not, screaming. Not but screaming, I am, but like uh, raise your voice. Raise your voice when you're uh, raising your voice and trying to be direct. You're smiling at the same time using your hands. Do you is realize it really? That? Yeah. I smile, well, I smile more than the Vixen does, but I also yeah, like you Vixen. You better tell these bitches. You better tell these bitches. Well, you, do you think I'm, Monet thinks I'm mean? Do you think I'm mean? No, I don't think you're mean. I think you're direct. I think you're funny. Thank you. Also, you all is a, is a New York City raised kid, so you, you can't offend a fucking kid raised in New York City. I'm Here's another thing, you know, you know what I mean? When I was being direct and trying to explain my outfits to the judges, they said I was clapping back. You know, that's another thing. I wasn't trying to clap Girl. back. I was trying to, I was trying to explain myself. Honey, on the yeah. runway of Drag Race, you're not allowed to breathe while Michelle's talking. They'll be like, then once you say, once you uh, blink while Michelle's talking, they'll play that little. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah. And then yeah. next year they're like, oh my god, look who's shady. She don't know how to get critiques. You know what I mean? Are you yeah, are you I still going to keep on watching? You are. Um. Do you think I should? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. I think I should. Monet you, Monet, you know what happened next week. Should we keep watching? Oh yeah, girl, it's a good week. Word. All right. Well, that's our judge of that. I'll tell it to you on Instagram. Can you guys please follow Yuha Hamasaki? Her uh, Instagram name is Yuha Hamasaki. Um, uh-huh. And there, what's your Twitter, baby? Yuha NYC, because somebody stole Yuha Hamasaki on Twitter and, and, and started posting like, girl, go look at it. It's a fucking mess, girl. The first, <laughs> post, on, the, the first post on Twitter.com slash Yuha Hamasaki is a uh, finger my asshole. <laughs> 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 well, Yuha, someone also stole Bob the Drag Queen on uh on uh, Instagram too, so I, I on Twitter too, so I can get it, girl. People are shady as hell, and we accidentally <laughs> we accidentally uh, looped in someone named um, Monet Exchange on this Skype call, who is apparently not actually Monet. So, yeah, people are shady as hell. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. All right, you all. Thank you for joining us. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. I had a fabulous time. We love you, baby. Right. I'll talk to Jesus. you soon, okay. girl. Bye, Monet. Bye, Bye, Bob. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye, girl. Thank you for listening to our Buy Girl Buy series here on Sibling Rivalry. Next week, we'll be interviewing the recently eliminated uh, Drag Race contestant, Desiree Bottoms, and talk about her music and projects she's got going on. Sibling Rivalry is proudly presented by The Only Productions. We'd like to thank Calorie Carb Dashian Williams and Yu Hamasaki for their contributions. And of course, we'd like to thank you, the listeners, for tuning in each week. And a thank you to our producer, Mitch Frino. Thanks for listening, guys. I responded back to you an hour later because I was at a viewing party, you idiot. <laughs>